So we have this question about making a frequency distribution. How do you get the frequencies? Frequency distribution. Okay, so we have these data. And Cynthia, I know that these are not all the data. Um, they're just some of the data. And so you've got classes in here that are below the 60s. <clears throat> But let's just say that your classes are, you know, let's just say that these are all the data. Then you would have, and in the in the problem, you already had uh, classes like fifty nine point five. to 69.5 you also had all of the numbers in the 50s but 70 or 69.5 to 79.5 the classes are exhaustive but and non-overlapping 79.5 to 89.5 so the the in other words the 80s eighty nine point five to 99.5 the 90s what are the frequencies for all of these classes well, that is just a matter of going through and counting off how many you have in each class. So in the 60s, we've got one, two. You could keep tallies, which sometimes is necessary because tallies like these uh, sometimes is necessary because the data are all scrambled and you don't have all of the things in the same class all together the way they are here. But the frequency then is just two. And then for the 70s, one, two, three, four. For the 80s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for the 90s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there is a frequency distribution. Now, I know that in the actual problem that you're asking about, Cynthia, you had uh, values in the 50s. But this gives you an idea of how to get your frequencies for your frequency distribution, which in turn could be used to create a histogram.